Well, President Biden, as you saw, made a big arrival, as presidents tend to do, right? So everybody gathers to see outside uh, the, the big plane, Air Force One, if you can. So we're going to talk some about some of the photos that were taken of the president's arrival with photographer Chris Manorino. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Mark. We show some of your photos that are just so phenomenal. They're so beautiful. What a gorgeous eye you have in photography. Thank you. Absolutely. And I, I know it's a side gig for you kind of a thing, right? <laughs> it's not even a gig, it's just a passion. It's a passion, and yeah. you can tell. It comes across in the photos. So you found out that the president obviously was coming, where the plane was going to be landing. How did you decide where to go and set up to get some of the shots that we're going to be showing? So I live in Point Loma, and uh, my job as a realtor is to know every single inch of Point Loma and Ocean Beach and every angle of that. So I heard, watch KUSI, heard the president be coming in around noon. So I got home for lunch and raced out to uh, Cabrillo National Monument and decided to set up there. Uh, I was going to set up in Fort Rosecrans, but uh, just looking for different angles. Plus, I didn't know which runway the uh, right. plane was going to be coming in. Right. So here's a photo that you that you took. We were showing one with the background of, of the Hotel Dell. Mm -hmm. This obviously has uh, the bridge there uh, in that one in that first sh photo we showed. Then, what? Do, how do you decide what equipment to use? I mean, is this a really fancy long lens that I am going to know nothing about when you <laughs> tell me what you, you use? Might know something Paul might not <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but uh, it, yeah it was a uh, 150 to a 600 millimeter lens um, but it was shot at 150 so I had a big lens on it again I didn't know which runway that it was going to be coming in on so if it was going to be coming in on the one that over by the Hotel Dell I wanted to be able to zoom in on that right but I was able to zoom out and then crop uh, the image that you see there down to to what it is. I mean, this is another gorgeous shot with the with the city's skyline there in the background. Yeah, and so the next time uh, that Air Force One comes in, uh, I'm going to kind of go down the Bayside Trail because the other angle that I really wanted was to have Air Force One with the downtown buildings in the background. It was kind of hard with this image right here, um, just because of the low trajectory that the plan was on. Right. So. I mean, you've you've been a photographer for a number of years now, but do you feel the pressure? Because you know you're not going to really be able to ask your subject to go around, make another loop, and do a reapproach. I mean, you've got one shot to get this done. Yeah, literally. And then, do you know right away that that you've got it and you you had it just the way you wanted it? Never really know until I get home, home. yeah, or back to the office and I'm able to upload it because the way I shoot it, I always shoot it under um, underdeveloped. Uh, so, Got it. you know, later when I get back to the officer at home, I'm able to pull it up and be like, oh yeah, I nailed it, or I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then are you going, I mean, do you have any intention of getting in touch with the administration, shooting them an email, say, hey, just for maybe your office walls, if you want to. <laughs> I figure if they want it, they'll reach out to me. They'll reach out to you. Yeah. That's a good way of doing it. Well, Paul wanted me to ask you about a certain wave that you missed because your lens cap was on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, did Jim Grant tell you that? <laughs> you told me. Oh. You're such a good sport, yeah. Chris. It just goes to show it you happens. that even even geniuses, uh, you know, miss one every now and oh, then. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah, I try and get it all, but it, it rarely does that happen. Well, I, I I'm curious if you could give a message to other people who are just kind of dabbling in that photography world, want to learn more. How did you do? How did you do it? So I got into it because uh, I got tired of having photographers or paying photographers to take pictures of my listings. Yeah. And so it was more of a practical matter. Uh, and I just kind of bought a three lens kit, Googled uh, or YouTubed on how to do indoor photography. And from there, I would get off work and I'd go to the beach or before work, I'd go to the bay and just slowly learn how to um, work the camera. I uh, never had any lessons, but uh, the more I did it, the more I really started enjoying it and just yeah. kind of got the photo bug. Well, you're so talented, and I know people can find you on Instagram, Chris mm -hmm. Manorino, and can check out a lot of the photos because you post them there. Yeah, that and Facebook. Uh, you know, this is not going to be a business for me. Um, you know, pictures are available, but only by word of mouth. I, you're not going to see me at street fairs or farmers markets. Or uh, <laughs> I don't want to ruin the passion by turning it into a business. Yeah. So you got photos of the motorcade too. Yeah. Oh, awesome. So I was. Um, you were full on stalker mode yesterday. <laughs> well, I was. I was. <laughs> 
up for Cabrillo. And I looked down at the sub base and I saw it was all decked out. I'm like, oh, that's right, he's gonna be speaking down there. So I raced down to La Playa on Rosecrans and set up and here, sure enough, here comes a motorcade, you know, about 15 minutes after he landed. And so I got pictures of that. Well, I didn't see the presidential limo. And so I took off and I was heading back to my office and I'm going down Nimitz and all of a sudden I see CHPs blocking <laughs> off the streets. And I'm like, like, this is it. I, I quickly pulled over, got out, ran over to the street and all of a sudden here comes the motorcade coming. And in one of the pictures you can actually, if you zoom in on that, you can see him in the back seat there with his daughter. So cool. Yeah. Chris Manorino, thanks so much for sharing the photos thanks with for, us. Thank Always you. I really appreciate the USI for showing them. Well, of course. They're they're great. And thank you for the donuts this morning. My you, pleasure. You know the way to Paul's heart. Appreciate <laughs> <it>. <laughs> know your audience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much, Chris. Thank you, Lauren. Well, Paul